I really like that idea that you should learn something new every single day. And because I enjoyed making these videos for the past year, I'm going to continue this WILT series. WILT stands for what I learned today. If everything goes as planned, one of these should come out every single weekend and should include what I learned every single week. And so here's what I learned every single day this week at UC Davis. Today is Monday, October 1st, and today I learned that UC Davis has a little bit of money. The reason I know that UC Davis has a little bit of cash in their pockets is because there's construction like everywhere. Like pretty much any street that you go down, you're gonna see some construction. Like I saw some construction by the dorms. I know the Ark is getting constructed. There's construction to make new halls. The roads are looking really nice. There's a lot of new construction around campus, and that shows that they're doing well in the green department. And I'm not talking about vegetables. Even though we do grow our own tomatoes, so we're doing good with vegetables too, actually. Well, no, actually, tomatoes are a fruit, from what I've heard, so. Um, the point of this was to say that UC Davis has a lot of construction going on, which means they're doing well economically, which is a good thing. Today, I also learned that whoever cleans the Rossler 66 bathroom deserves a raise, so. <laughs> I'm in the bathroom of Rossler 66 right now, and it smells so good in here. It smells like cinnamon and just a really nice warm feeling. Well, not a nice warm feeling, that, that that's something else. But it smells great, so whoever's maintaining Rossler 66, you're doing a great job, because this place, it smells better than my apartment, actually. Today is Tuesday, October 2nd, and today I learned that it's getting a lot darker a lot quicker. And I'm not talking about me since I started tanning. <laughs> It's a, it's a subpar joke. At best. Oh man. Today my classes ended a little later. They ended at 8 p.m. So I saw what Davis looked like at 8 p.m. and it was extremely dark. I left my apartment not thinking it was gonna get that dark so I didn't bring my bike light and so I was just biking outside in the dark without a bike light, which I don't recommend. It's unsafe and if the police find you doing that, they actually just give you a flashlight. It's pretty cool. They <laughs> they don't get you in trouble. They just care about safety, not punishing you for no reason. So to show you how dark it got at 8 p.m. today, I took some videos and I'll put them up on the screen here. You can see it still looks a little lit up because of the on-campus lighting. And plus, I have this amazing camera that takes amazing low light quality. So this is not an ad, but the camera's really good in, in the dark, so. Actually, maybe this is an ad. I'm just kidding, no one <laughs> no one would pay me to do this. So yes, with those videos, you can see how dark it gets here in Davis at 8 p.m. And I tried to do this cool thing where I show the time and then I like pull it down and then show the street. But when I tried that, um, it didn't look as cool as I thought it'd be. I had the time up and then I pulled it down and it was just a blurry street. <laughs> so here's a clear street. That's what the street usually looks like at night when you're standing in the middle of it, which I also don't recommend doing that. Well, actually, no, don't, don't do that. Don't, <laughs> don't stand in the middle of streets. And then of course I say that, yet I'm the one in the middle of the street. <laughs> today is Wednesday, October 3rd, and today I learned what a presidential alert is. Today I was in my math lecture of a couple hundred kids and everyone's phones started making that beautiful melodic noise. Mm-hmm, that's the one. Oh, mm. yep, there it is. Oh, God, that's terrible. So like everyone else, I pulled out my phone and I saw this, this message of a presidential alert. And you know what that means. Your boy got a DM. Mm-hmm, I did. From DJT himself, Donnie. And it turns out that's not actually true. Donald Trump didn't DM my entire math class and the entire nation. This presidential alert was just a test to see if they could get out a message in case there was, you know, just a casual nationwide emergency. And the president isn't actually the one that's in charge of the presidential alert, believe it or not. It's FEMA. And FEMA is the Federal Emergency Management Agency. It's not your thigh bone said in a Bostonian accent, which is news to me. I thought it was, I thought it was FEMA. Yeah, FEMA. So today I learned that Donald Trump didn't DM my entire math class, and I also learned what FEMA is. Yeah, FEMA. And I read that in the future, in case of an actual emergency, the president will have sole responsibility in sending this 
DM to the entire nation. But of course FEMA will be there to run some checks and balances on that on that DM. You know, I was actually thinking that I should get my own FEMA to manage my DMs because I haven't had very much success and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I send all of them. I see that they've seen them and no response. Katie, I, <laughs> today is Thursday, October 4th and today I learned that Davis is home to some unexpected residents. Turtles. Today I was biking by the Arboretum and I went by the creek, you can check it out here, and oh, just ignored that it's all green. Davis had a grow green initiative and it just, it got really out of hand. And if you pan over to the left a little more, you can see on that pipe, there's two turtles. You can see that's Michelangelo and then that's Donatello. <laughs> so yeah, I learned that Davis is home to some turtles, as you can see by our two bros there, just chilling, getting some pipe in the sun. Oh, wait, hold on. Probably, probably better ways to say that. <laughs> today is Friday, October 5th, and today I learned what a Power Crunch protein energy bar tastes like. And the reason I was eating a protein bar is because I had a really hard workout and I needed something to recover with. <laughs> I know I tried to tell jokes on these wilts a lot, but me going to a gym, whew, that is, oh boy, that is, that is a big stretch. <laughs> All right, wouldn't be my first new wilt back without me eating something. So today we're trying this Power Crunch Protein Energy Bar Original. And the only reason I really picked this was because on the packaging, it looked like a white chocolate Kit Kat. So naturally I gravitated towards it. <laughs> so let's try this bad boy out. Oh. Uh, it's kind of melted. <laughs> I put it in my pocket on the way here, so, oh boy. Yeah, it's kind of on the sides right there, as you can see. Very blurrily, you can see. Alright, let's give a, give a first bite of this. Oh, wow. Oh wait, no. <laughs> Initially it was really good because it reminded me of those wafer candies with cream inside. I don't know if you've ever had them. I'll try to put it on the screen here. I hope those ring a bell because those were like my entire childhood. And so initially it tastes like those, but then when you kind of start chewing it, it's really dry and I immediately find myself wanting some water. So that's kind of a downside. Maybe a second bite will be its redemption story. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. It's okay. It just really... It's really dry. I think the conclusion is it's good, but it could be better. Which, I don't know if I'm talking about this or me. Also, it doesn't have a very favorable price. This bar alone was $2.79. I know you can probably go to the store and buy like a box for like seven bucks or something and then it'll be a deal, but just going to the Segundo market and buying this, um, it was not worth $2.79. I don't know, it just, it could just be better, you know? I, I'm i talking about this, not not me. So yeah, that was Wilt Week 35. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And this week's question is, what do you enjoy about my Wilt series? Now, I'm not just asking this to get some free praise. Yeah, well, a little bit. No, jokes aside, I'm genuinely curious what do you find enjoyable about my Wilt series. I'm not saying it shouldn't be enjoyable, I hope it is enjoyable, but it's very hard to see my videos in the same way that I see other people's videos. So I'm curious, what do you find enjoyable about them? Also starting this Wilt, I'm going to feature a comment at the end of all my Wilts. It'll be chosen from the previous Wilt and it'll be featured on my outro. Featuring comments is a super creative idea that I came up with first. Um, I'm just the most innovative on this platform, what can I say? So leave a comment boosting my ego, sorry. <laughs> leave a comment telling me what you enjoy about this series and I'll see you next time for Wilt Week 36.